Our first item is 10A, adopt a resolution authorizing the purchase of automated external defibrillators, AEDs, and other medical equipment in the total amount of $36,600 from the restricted donation fund. Chief. It's kind of ironic that we're asking for AEDs on uh, Red Cross uh, Awareness Month, so it's kind of cool. <clears throat> Good evening, Honorable Mayor and members of the City Council. Before you is a report requesting authorization to purchase uh, new and advanced medical equipment, including automatic external defibrillators or AEDs. Uh, per Council's direction, staff has researched and developed a plan to pro provide enhanced safety to all employees and residents and is recommending the installation of AEDs in all city facilities and to outfit all police vehicles on patrol with AEDs. Um, AEDs are highly specialized medical equipment that detect and treat life-threatening heart rhythms in cardiac patients. In cardiac emergencies, it is, it is critical to, to provide defibrillation, which is uh, electric shock to the heart, at the earliest stages of an emergency. A patient's uh, chance of survival drops almost 10 percent every minute the normal heart rhythm is not, re um, not re restored. Even when 911 is called immediately, it takes uh, approximately about five minutes for uh, emergency crews to arrive at a location. The critical statistic is that after 10 minutes without emergency care, resuscitation is, is rarely successful. The emphasis, this emphasizes the importance of having emergency plans that include available AEDs and staff trained in both CPR and AED, uh, and, uh, and with AEDs. The proposed plan uh, is to install AEDs at the police department, city hall, the library, the community center, both corporation yards and the fire stations. Also 14 patrol vehicles out in the field will be equipped with portable AEDs. Uh, AEDs in all city facilities in the field with patrol officers will significantly, significantly increase the ability of first responders and trained staff to render advanced aid, thus enhancing the care and survivability rate to residents and employees. <clears throat> because the council recently uh, took action and approved increased funding uh, for the fire department CPR program, fire staff has been able to offer and provide annual CPR and AED training to city employees, the police department and offered additional classes to residents and community groups. This year alone, we've offered more uh, CPR classes than in the last two years combined and uh, in the first three months of the year. So last year we only offered, I think four, and we've already offered seven this, and I think they said we're probably gonna, it probably hit about 14 to 20 classes this year. Okay, additionally, fire staff is also requesting to purchase a new Life Pack 15 heart monitor and Doty Belt Pro Lift Assist harnesses. The Life Pack 15 monitor offers the newest technology in detecting heart rhythms in the field used by EMTs and paramedics. The new monitor will be placed on truck 51 and will complete standardization of all San Bruno apparatus with other departments within the county. The Doty Belts is a device that helps first responders safely lift and maneuver heavy non-ambulatory patients and was designed to help reduce back injuries. Okay, the timing of this purchase uh, also goes along with uh, co and coincides with the County of San Mateo recently launching and supporting a new emergency services mobile application called PulsePoint. PulsePoint is a free application that alerts registered um, users trained in CPR of a cardiac emergency in the area. It, it also pinpoints the locations of nearby buildings that have AEDs. If purchased, San Bruno's new AEDs can be registered in the system and be available to registered users of an emergency if an emergency occurs near a city facility. Public safety personnel plan to initiate a campaign to encourage both employees and residents to register with PulsePoint. Uh, funding for this proposal is available through a restricted donation fund for the purchase of new medical equipment. Um, at this time, that concludes my report, and I'd be glad to answer any questions. Good. Any questions for the chief? Or action by the council? To the Ken? chair, I, I just have a question for Chief. I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with the cost of these AEDs. This is a really good price. Is this a quantity discount or is it a 
something that uh, the fire departments get, or is that how much they cost now? Yeah, that's, it's, it's a cost, but it's also yeah. because we're buying so many of yeah. them. Uh, we're buying 22 of them, so it is a discounted cost. Yeah. I believe it's a, it's a bargain, and uh, all you need to do is you know save one life, and it's paid for itself. Anyway, I will uh, adopt the resolution if I could. Rico, did you have a comment? Oh. No, I was going to introduce the resolution oh, okay. as well. All right, good. Council Member Ibera. Aye. Council Member O'Connell. Aye. Council Member Rico Medina. Aye. Council Member Vice, Vice Mayor Marty Medina. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. Through the chair. Irene. I have just a question. It, this is from a restricted donation. Is it from one person? And the reason I'm asking is if we know where this money came from, could we send them a letter saying that this, this is how we're using your money and just let them know that, that you know, it's going to a useful thing? Yeah, it, well, it's, it's a combined fund, but there, a large majority of the donation that we got last year was from one person. So, yeah, we can, we can um, send it to the person that is uh, in charge of the estate to let them know that we, that we purchased these. Great. Thank you.